Hey, 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 and welcome back to another Steel Maze Flow tutorial. I'm Coach Kristen, and I have the pleasure and honor of being a Steel Maze Coach and Educator. Today's flow has a guest appearance in the background. Just ignore the guy back there. Getting the gains. Today's flow is going to start in warrior position. We're going to go through a 360 into a hangman swing, and then we're going to go into a hip whip. I actually call this more of a body roll because it's going to be high up above your pelvis. So we're going to go 360 hangman, and then you want that mace. I, you can even control it with that arm, and you're just going to glide it across your body and then hook it in a choke grip with that elbow. So this is resting right on here on my back, as opposed to catching it in my hip crease. So I want it over top of the pelvis, and then I'm just going to release the tail, let that uh, tail swing around, and then I'm going to finish in a shield cradle here. So once again, 360 to a hangman to a body roll, hooking it into my shield cradle. From here, I'm going to undo my shield cradle. Catching in landmark three. I'm going to press it to landmark four as I go into a Cossack squat. And I'm going to come all the way down, internally rotating that leg into a shin box. I'm going to press up on my shin box as I pull the mace down to landmark three. I'm crushing the mace here. From here, I'm going to release the tail. I'm going to catch underhand and press it down into the ground. I'm going to place my hand beside the globe, and then I'm going to come into like a down dog position, into a dive bomber push-up. So I like to think of like licking the floor here, into an up dog. From here, I'm going to slip to a modified beast position, into a scorpion. Then I'm going to take that scorpion tail, and I'm going to go into an under switch, pulling up on my mace, into a crab press. Now, I'm going to take my front leg, I'm going to tuck it underneath into a half kneeling position, sort of like where we go into our Turkish getup. As I come up, I'm going to pull the globe behind my head. I'm going to have this hand ready to catch the tail behind me. As I come out of this position, I'm going to pivot out. So I'm coming out and I'm pivoting out, so I'm facing the back, and I'm going to let that globe fall into a bottom swing. I'm going to catch thumb to globe and lay it down into a cross body bottom step number two. From this step number two, uh, cross body bottom, I'm going to switch blade the tail of the mace. So I'm actually catching it in a sword up position. So that hand that's on the tail pushes the tail down and catches it in a sword up position. Like this. Then I just pass it back to that original hand and lay it down into landmark or step number two, cross body bottom on the other side. This sets me up to go on the other side. So this will set us up to warrior. All we have to do is come together and stack our hands and we're all set to go on the other side. So message me with any questions. Tag me if you try this. And always, always flow on my friends. Flow on. Flow on.